Hello reading buddies! Welcome to Living the Tales with me, Priyanka. I'm so excited to see you all. Are you ready for today's story? If you like reading with me, do not forget to like, subscribe, share and turn on the post notification bell to get notified every time I post a new story. So this story is about a crocodile. Do you know where crocodiles live? Of course in the water. But this crocodile didn't like water. Let's find out why as we read the crocodile who didn't like water. If you have a copy of this book, please go get it so you can read along with me. The Crocodile Who Didn't Like Water by Gemma Marino Once upon a time, there was a little crocodile. He longed to play with his brothers and sisters, but they were far too busy with swim club. And this little crocodile didn't like swim club. What he really liked was climbing trees, but nobody else did. It was lonely having nobody to play with. So the little crocodile made a decision. He had saved up his money from the tooth fairy and he knew exactly what to buy with it. The next afternoon, he took his new rubber ring over to the water. Today he would play with his brothers and sisters. But he couldn't play ball or swim underwater. And although climbing the ladder was fun, he just didn't want to jump. But he didn't want to be alone, so he decided to try one last time. One, two, two and a half, three, splash! This little crocodile definitely hated water. It was cold, it was wet, and it was embarrassing. But then something strange happened. His nose began to tickle, and the tickle grew, and grew, and grew, until... Achoo! This little crocodile didn't like water, because... He wasn't a crocodile at all. He was a dragon. And this little dragon wasn't born to swim. He was born to breathe fire. And he was born to fly. The end. Thank you so much for watching and reading along with me. 